Hey guys, this is me, Dash Roll Rush, and uh, I finally invested in a capture card. So to test the sucker out, um, you know, see if I understand it, how to work it, and whatnot. I'm gonna play a game demo. Um, this is of El Shaddai. Uh, that's not the full title. The full title is El Shaddai: Ascension of the Metatron. It's a very beautiful game, as you'll uh, soon find out. It comes out uh, end of July, like July 26th or something. And uh, one of the most beautiful games I've ever I've ever seen. I think it's the. I'm just gonna declare it, the most beautiful game I've ever seen. Um, and uh, after you know, you can download this demo yourself. It's on Xbox Live. It's on uh, PSN. So um, definitely download the demo. Uh, see if you like it. Um, but I can't recommend it enough just from what I've played of it, and what I've seen of it, um, especially what I've seen of it. Um, it's made by Takayashi, I think, somebody, somebody who is the lead, I think, lead creative director, something of, uh, Okami. And, uh, so here it is, El Shaddai, Ascension of the Metatron. Um, new game. Okay. There might be a little echo from my, uh, microphone. We'll play it on normal, but and I'm gonna warn you guys right now. Um, this is a hard game. So uh, it's not just me sucking uh, as per usual. This is actually a hard game. It's been said by uh, everybody who uh, who's ever played it. You know, except for those guys. You know, who are like, oh, no game is hard for me. Super me boy, more like super pussy boy. I don't know what type of accent that was. But um, here's all the stuff. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, okay, skip. What's the skip button? There we go. Uh, first time for this demo. So, there we go. This is the first thing you're greeted to in the game. Very nice. And, uh, basically avoid puddles. Um, the character's name Enoch. Uh, the, the game is loosely, very, very loosely based on the, uh, Ezekiel is watching you. the biblical book of Enoch, which isn't regarded as canon by any uh, Judeo-Christian religions. Oh! There's a thing here, okay. As you can see, the enemies are ruthless. And uh, this is your main, your main tactic in battle, is you want to steal and purify the enemy's weapon. When they're glowing blue, it's the base is a weapon that you purify it, which makes it stronger. Uh, over time, the weapon depurifies or becomes corrupted again, in which case you'll have to repurify it. And there's this whole little you know, strategy that we want to repurify now, we'll wait till later, you know, battle. Oh, what the? Oh, you too. Can I go now? I knew you So basically the book of Enoch is um it's non Judeo canon. Enoch Judeo Christian canon. But it was about um how I sense the presence uh, of a little girl. Angels basically roughly how looking angels for you, Enoch. Earth to uh I think watch over it kind of fell to it to the culture so much that they uh they consumed it or something. I don't know. And I would have up on that Bible study. So, you really want to guard and take it from both ends of the map. Now, there really is no limit. Now, while you can die in this game, it's not really as simple as just letting her beat you. And I'm sure I'll show it off somewhere. Uh, uh, you, you, you'll get this mechanic, I'll show it off when and definitely when. Basically, as you could have, as you might have noticed, there is no, uh, HUD. There's no heads up in the way. Um, your health is judged by how much armor you're wearing, and as you can see, you can get the trigger to get, uh, get broken off. And, uh... And as you saw there, there is a little bit of rough for a second, you can steal the an arm. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, there is no HUD in the game. Uh, your character's health is measured by how much armor he's wearing. And, uh... Armor, you know, I guess. I think this thing will heal me. This item repairs your armor. There we go. So, uh... And there's a, it's kind of a platforming game, but there, there's a lot of platforming uh, in the game. Like, basically, the game battles would be platforming. Uh, you know, from these beautiful vistas and retreats and whatever. And, uh, battle time again. Now, this guy has a new weapon. I don't really like the useful weapon. It's a projectile speedy type shooting thing. Um, I guess I'll kill him when he's scared by it. That's probably going to keep me stuck. Okay. 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 Uh, there's this one, the blade gun, and then there's one called uh, the veil, I think? It's like two armored sticks um, that can actually shield. They're the slowest and most powerful. I think it's the one that gets a little pressure to uh, get back in part. I forget what this one's called. It's called the Right? Um, Hey, might have heard so far. Uh, like really said, not making it easy for us. Yeah, we're gonna be a while. Uh, well, so, depends on what weapons he steals. Black figure over there. That's uh, Talk to Lucifer, you later. who is uh, Lucifer or Satan, the devil, before he uh, fell from his archangel, from his uh, archangel status. So there we go. Let's take a look at him. And uh, this will be our uh, our first boss encounter. And uh, I tried. There, there is no winning this. You're, you're supposed to lose to keep so, so you've, you've come. Um, I'm gonna say this was easier. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you're not supposed to lose. You're gonna be touching. Uh, basically, you can move that. And as soon as you die, look at that. Two hits, I'm dead. I'm out of there. It's, it's time you learned your so, place. Uh, as you can see, Enoch, who is, by the way, the great, I think the great grandfather of Noah, who looked built the ark. Uh, that's my name. Uh, he's wearing jeans. Stylized, I forget the brand. Some sort of stylized Japanese brand of jeans. And they actually made these, like, uh, the pair that both him and uh, Lucifer wear. But um, I guess they're pretty cool jeans, I think, considering that they kind of look similar to other uh, jeans. Oh, really? Okay, so, uh, I didn't see like, the black one, apparently, but, you know, even, even the small guys can gain up on I'm not kidding about the difficulty. Uh, if you read any previews of the game, uh, everyone says uh, uh, probably not now. I also read somewhere that there's a, a Tron type level that's stylized to look like Tron movies, um, and I have a friend who'd be really interested in that. Okay, so here we are. And okay, so you guys. Can see it now. If we carry a corrupted button, um, basically I'll be in that Oh, that was a heavy attack. Oh, I'm touching the button. Yeah. 
battles means you get a real sense of accomplishment <laughs> after you uh, after you find it win. Which is nice. Kinda of missed out on that a lot of games because... So another beautiful uh, platform you can see. This time in two dimensions. Now this thing here stand near this object and purify it to receive one of God's weapons. This thing here allows you to switch between weapons. The green thing is the shooty which, thing. Which weapon you receive depends on the object's the state. Archery. I already have the one I want. I'm not even going to test my one here. Now we're riding on the waves here. To our next, uh, Is Ezekiel abandoned heaven for the natural beauty of this world? On the back or something. However, this love of hers has grown into an obsession. So, basically, a bit of what I told you is the basic story of the game. You just walk in heaven, you have to get it back or kill him. Uh, basically, you get him out of God's hair. But uh, you know, if you're if you're adverse to religion, don't don't worry. Uh, uh, this game is not. It, it, it definitely takes the source material very lightly. Uh, basically, all the same subject. It's an obsession that will eventually destroy the very. Uh, Freeman's notes. Nana's run off again somewhere. She's infatuated with Sin's tale of the brave Ishtar. She wanders... <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking Marek from Yu-Gi-Oh. Actually, Yu-Gi-Oh abridged. That's the Marek I'm thinking of. She wanders about incessantly with that partner of hers, searching for the messenger from heaven. If she ever does find him, they certainly would save us from this whole work. she adores. Um, I don't, I'm not gonna get up there. Actually, I might be able to. No. Okay. It's basically riding the waves again this time in reverse, so you have to time your jumps. Oh wow, I can float. I've actually never done that. Um, at that time, I've not done it correctly. But uh, this you have to be patient. I'm just rushing a little more. At this one, you have to let the waves come to you. Go. And 
I believe we just have a few more battles left. Now there might be a box kick and scissor thing to use buttons, uh, I don't care. I think I'm going to be a box kick and This is actually my first time dying in the game. Uh, before I've always been able to make a recovery. So this is a new experience for me too. <laughs> uh, okay, so I guess you get some backstory. See, I died on purpose to stuff. Okay. Okay, don't start off that that far. Just just some more black. Oh no. I shouldn't have done that. Should have waited for the next platform. Oh, yeah, yeah. An obsession that will eventually destroy the very world she adores. Yeah, it's not that. This I'm not doing. I like the button. Yeah, I don't mind that. I think dying, though, resets the uh, cover. Get back up. Because I think I said it before, every time you, you die, it gets harder to recover. Go so back to this battle. And, uh, and I hope this recording is there. And I think it should. Now it's going to be fun. Okay, I'm feeling this guy's stuff. Like, I'm focused on him. I really do like this cinematic moment where you're just getting a guy that's passing on the sound. Ow. No! Your weapon must have stole your weapon. I'm losing you. The animation probably is using this weapon though, more than I do the arch. This kind of looks like the air bend. Oh, I can't die. Oh. Yeah, it definitely looks like he's bending. Pretty. 
If I'm too far away, it hurts a lot. I know that I got closer. But the enemies are really smart in this game. They're some great AI. This game's really, really tough. There we go. Everything's fine. There we go. Finally, I got a weapon I like. Well, I like the other weapon too now that I kind of imagine I'm dodging it or whatever. Okay, there we go. Battle complete. And I think we're nearing the end of the demo soon. Um, if I remember correctly. Maybe one more battle left? Look, look. And you don't want to really get stuck in the Ink is bad. Oh, yeah, this is the end of the demo. Okay. So this guy has the third weapon. See, it's highlighted there. There it is. Oh, what's it called? <laughs> At last, the final there's weapon. There's Lucifer. Wearing his own pair of designer jeans. That's, That's a fail. Yeah, fail. I was Go right. Go on, take it. Take it. So basically, Lucifer was your companion character, and he's the one reviving you. Because he's a good guy, that's fun. But, you know, foregone conclusion, right? So, uh, that's the end of the demo. Now we get this sneaky little, uh... So you can see, you know, how, just how cool this, this game is gonna look and gonna be. Um, comes out next month, as I said. Um, go to the website if you feel, or, you know, like go to Wikipedia, TV Tropes, learn more about it. And, um, so that's the demo. That's El Shaddai Ascension of the Metatron. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed playing it again, even though I'm terrible at it. But I guess you could say that for all video games. And, um, I'm glad I finally have a capture card. Hopefully this works. And, um, yeah, I'm gonna, you know, try, try and make, upload this to YouTube stuff now.